I was gonna say, can you? Oh, you can. Can you juggle them? Find out. Hello, everybody. Great show, please. We're checking out a game for the channel called Trainer VR. It's kind of like a mixture between tracks and Tiny Town. In it, you can create grand railroad. I don't know worlds, I guess. Uh, and they are pretty grand. So one of the things that you can do in it, I'll go ahead and hold it up over here. It's like a lot like your wooden train sets of old, except instead of just plainly building things we're gonna try and crash everything as well because that's what I do we're gonna try and break everything down all this stuff is all uh, physically incorporated we got all kinds of different tracks over here we've got different types of advanced features like stations and bridges and crossings and cranes and stuff like that you got your different types of trains then you got all of your decor and your street lights and your houses and stuff there's a nighttime mode to this is actually pretty cool and then there's saved areas there's actually one over here that looks like it was created by the developers. I was gonna say, let's go check it out. It's pretty legit. No joke, look at it. There's all kinds of bridges and stuff like that. Remember, all this is destructible, so if you really want to, like, I don't know, I guess unleash your inner anger, you can go ahead and beat all this stuff around, start ripping tracks off and everything. This piece of mountain over here could go. I, I, I want it. Oh, can I lift this up? Oh, you sure can. I want this no longer. All right, now that we've now that we've done enough destruction, let us go over here briefly, and maybe legitimately watch the train work for once. So over here, we have a lovely little station. You can get pretty close to all this, and take a close look. One of the things I'd like to see in this game, and from what I understand, it is coming, is like a conductor view, when you can go into the train and legitimately watch it and see the scenery and everything. They want to do one step further than that, though, and create a, uh, almost like a, a full conductor where you control the speed of the train and whether it goes forward and backward and all that kind of stuff. So over here the train, we can activate stuff with our thumb button, and thus the train is off. Pretty simplistic, right? No big deal. Train goes up, train goes down. Train can have all kinds of sweet freaking, like, ups and downs and what do they call those overpasses I'm pretty sure those are overpasses again there's trees and stuff and now switching this oh whoops <laughs> I was gonna say switching this I don't know how it happens oh you can change it when the little uh little lightning bolt turns on and that'll make it go in different directions now you notice there's actual crossings and stuff like this that it will get stopped at Got a car over here that wants to pass by. If we want to, I think we can control this so it can continue. Yep, sure can. There we go. Now what happens? What happens when a train is faced with a car on the tracks? Will it plow through it? That's what I'm hoping for. You know what? Let's go for a friggin' twofer here. There we go. Two vans! Bust them out of the way! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So the crashing is at least a little bit legit. We could probably cause some pretty insane pileups. Now what happens? Oh wow. Oh, that's right. I changed the track. I was going to say the train went over here, it goes through all the tunnels and everything. Freaking sweet. Now what happens when you destroy the track? Does the train Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh I busted all this down. Where did the train go? <laughs> Remember, I, I like went Hulk and destroyed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> the poor train got stuck by a tree. Random tree is hanging out over here. Can, no, maybe we can fix this. Now, I'm not the best builder in the world, mind you. Oh, for the God. Come on. I'm not the best builder. But I think I could figure out a little bit of this. There we go. It's kind of coming back together. Now, will it work? Now this track isn't completely fixed. Will it still work? Definitely works, went right off the track too. Now as crazy as I was, I think we can fix this. I think you can, <laughs> I just took out a freaking street light. I'm sorry, street light, there you go. Now I think you could swap, yeah, you can swap them around with your thumb key. There we go. Can you, I was gonna say, can you, oh you can. Can you juggle them? Find out. Well, if you have, if you have any level of, hold on, I, what, hold on, did that one, did this hover in the air? It looked like it hovered in the air for a second. I was going to say, if you have any dexterity at all, maybe you can, not, not so much me. All right, I think we can fix this. Here we go. 
Yeah. Okay. Now how about this? I'm telling you, man, we can do this. Oh crap. All right. Um right there. Oh, that's right. I had it going. Hold on. Turn that way. There we go. Put this over here. And now does this is the height on this appropriate? I I think it is. Right? No. None of it wants to behave correctly. You know what? You don't want to do as I ask. Screw you then. All right, let's um Where's my thing over here? Let's go ahead and reset this to the way it was supposed to be. In order to get rid of the menu, once you start it, it kind of stays around forever. So what I like to do is just throw it beneath the ground. You never have to see it. Okay. No, I say you never have to see it. Little corner sticking up over there. All right. So now we have our little city back over here. Now, again, I think, I think that there's a night mode. I haven't messed with it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's pretty slick. Now we just need to be able to put people down here. Okay. One train over here. That tree's down for some reason. I think we have... I think there's more trains, too. I would like to get both... Yep, look at this. Train over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Here we go. Get that train going. I'd like to see if we could crash these trains over here. Now, there's one train going that way. Get this train going. Now, we're gonna need to swap that over there. Okay. All right, train's coming up that way over there. I'm continuously punching my green screen. Here comes this train. Now, what way is this train gonna go? Goes around here. Okay. Ah! Okay, so it's gonna come through here. And I don't know which one of these it's gonna go through. I guess whatever one... Oh, hold on. There we go. Try and make it go like that. Yes! Yes! Do it! Oh. That was actually, actually wasn't that bad. I was expecting like, maybe some derailments. Maybe some explosions, the random, random explosions. That's always good for me. I don't mind that at all. Well, now that we have both these trains just kind of like, locked together lovingly, what do we do with them? I feel, I feel like I should like move it. Whoa! What happened here? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, this is unique. The train is pushing the rest of the train cars. I feel like that's not supposed to happen. They're not connected. It's just pushing a huge amount of train cars. Ooh, hold on a second. There's more train cars. There's like just damaged train cars over here. How many can we put down? Here we go. Oh yeah! All the random train cars over here are gonna get utilized. Wonder what happens if we put down a truck on the tracks, or a car even, while this thing's going around. Maybe it'll push the car. Oh no! Everyone inside the car gets ruthlessly slain! Alright, train versus house. What happens? What's more powerful? Looks like the house is more powerful. Will the train continue to go, or...? Oh, this is odd. Hold on. The train was totally stopped. All right, hold on, let me, let's get, crap. I was gonna say, let's get, stop. Let's get rid of these for a moment. You know, just kind of toss those over there. All right, now that we have just the train, now let's try the house. Very right, curious to see how this works. Nope, the house is definitely too powerful for the train. How about one of these? Can the train take down a light post? I feel like it would be able to. Oh yeah, a light, a light post is no match, but it detached the rest of the train. I don't know how or why that happened. Train and a light post blocking the roadway. No survivors! Oh. You would think that, that this would be able to get knocked out of the way by the train, but I guess not. That's fine, though. Let's go over here real quick. Can I... Now, will you restart yourself, or do I have to move you, or... This is odd. It doesn't... Oh, there we go. Whoa! Again! It, like, connects itself, and then it will just push... The rest of the the rest of the train cars. I know not why. Ooh, I'm figuring out how to build ramps. You gotta like take these pillars, and what you can do is you can like snap them together and continue to grow stuff higher and higher. I wonder how big of a ramp we're allowed to make. All right, we're getting there. I'm slowly figuring it out. It's kind it's kind of difficult to do. Let's actually do this one around the corner like this. 
you can, it looks like you can sometimes, oh my god. It looks like you could sometimes snap these in here and they'll like connect, oh god. And then you can swap them around like this. If we put this over here, all right. Now we put additional pillars here and then connect them like this and then connect that like that. Okay, now we're starting to get a nice towering ramp. I want to see what happens. I, I'm, I'm very curious if the um, if the train will jump off of this. If we can get it to legitimately ramp. Only thing is, there's not really like um, there's not really like an incline that goes upward like this, like at an angle. They just kind of all die off in this straight kind of thing over here. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Oh, this is curious. So you could use this bridge. Hold on, we can make this bridge way tall. Oh God. We can make this bridge way taller to the point where it'll connect with the rest of our thing over there if we just keep adding enough pillars. You just gotta let go there. And then the pillars get connected. Okay, so if I put this here, nice. Oh yeah, all right. So now, let's put a train over here real quick. We can grab any train we want as long as we have an engine. And let's just see what happens. I'm very curious. Here we go. If this train will like fly off the side or what? Let's check it out over here. All right, it's going up, 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 up. Meets the end. It's a sad death. It's a sad and pathetic death. All right. Well, what happens if we have an area for it to land on? I wonder if we have some place for this to land on, if we could legitimately get like a, a jump essentially. All right, I got the tracks. Lined up over here. Will it jump and land on the secondary tracks? I think it's pretty much lined up. Okay. A little odder than I would have assumed. How about if we move it over a little bit more? Like right there. So now it's directly underneath. All right, go. Go, my child. Be free. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we can definitely get it to land on the track. What happens if we have like some pedestrian vehicles over here? What do we have? that we could use. We've got delicious cars over here that could be in the way. Scumbag cars, you never know about that. Sitting over here on the bridge like they shouldn't be. Me knocking all this stuff off. Why not? A couple of fallen trees as well. There we go. We, we, wanna, we don't wanna discriminate against certain types of trees, so here's two different types. I believe this is a coniferous and a deciduous tree. Is that right? Do I have any nature lovers in the group? Uh, I don't want that tree. How about a nice street light as we often do? There we go. You guys like daytime or nighttime? I don't know which one I like more. I kind of like both. All right, let's do it. No survivors. No survivors. Push that crap out of the way. Gone. Yeah. There we go. Off the one side. Off the other side. Sticks the landing all the way down. Okay. I wonder if we can connect all this. You know, we might be able to make this happen. I don't know. Uh doesn't quite reach over here though. That's the only problem. All these cranes are in the way. How can I fix this? We got it! Out of the way. It's perfect. I think we can do this. Okay. Ready? Let's go set up a nice stunt train track thing over here. I think it'll go this way. If we start it like that, let's just check. Okay, perfect. Alright. The train track is littered with horrifying hazards. Will the train make it? You know what, we need a bigger, better train. I don't know if it'll be able to hold all this stuff, but why not? Let's grab a whole ton of passengers because passengers are the only thing crazy enough to follow this train through the gates of Hades. All right, I think the train's long enough. I don't know if all the stuff is connected or what. Oh, it is. All right, tree, out of the way. Tree gets blasted by this poor guy. You're a dead man. Over here, another another man. Woo, man's got the full flip. Our train did a full backflip and started going the opposite direction. Oh man, I wanted it to continue going. Hold on, let's, uh. Now this might be a really long fall, that might be why. Yeah, it's so long of a fall that it, it flips all the way over. Okay, so we just need to shorten this jump a little bit. All right, boys, we ready? I think this is gonna work. All right, train goes there. Train goes, yes, yes. No! Oh! Man, I wonder, I wonder if it's because the van was there. Ugh. 
There we go. Get turned around. Oh, whoa! Oops. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yep. Didn't mean for that to happen. Um. Oh, train's levitating. Well, Grace still breaks games. Uh. Oh no, it was supposed to be the other way. I'm like, why is this missing over here? It's because it's supposed to be missing. Wait. It. How did how how did I do this? There we go. All right. Now, can you make this? Yes. Good. Yeah. Blast past everything. There's a few things in the- What are you- it, The thing's not inside. It's not even working. And the train bowls over the last few trees and takes a nice, appropriate pit stop inside- All right, or it just goes straight through the- Straight through the garages like it doesn't care. I think that our train has proved that it is the most powerful being in all of Trainer VR. I feel like- I want to build like a ramp to the sky or something like that because we could get some really what in the oh just had to stare at it long enough and it'll reignite its flame and passion for driving I guess anyway guys that's gonna be trainer VR very cool game I'm really looking forward to like additional stuff to come out for this game more more different uh, trees and and like maybe pedestrians if we could get those put down if the cars drove, like if you could make streets and stuff like that and the cars drove on the streets, I think that would be awesome. What do you guys think about it? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you have any suggestions that uh, the game might want to implement, feel free to leave those as well. I'm going to have links in the description below to the game. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.